Okay, so like, I might as well just call this called like food week. It's not fashion week. This is now this whole trip's been about food and room service. <laughs> Hey guys, so you've probably been wondering where I've been. You're probably also wondering why did I age 10 years? Uh, it's because um, I have my glasses on and I don't have any makeup on. So yeah, this is uh, it's what you get. It's what you get when you're on a 10 hour flight to Paris, so... Yeah, I wasn't about to put a full face of makeup on for a whole trip. I'm on my way to Paris right now, surprisingly, <laughs> for Fashion Week. And I'm heading there with Marc Jacobs and it's crazy, like right now I'm in like the business like first class kind of um, lounge area and this is my lunch for for right now, for today. <clears throat> yeah, some cookies, a brownie, you know, some wine, it's, it's free. I'll be like taking you guys around and stuff like when I get to Paris because I'm sure this trip's gonna be crazy, like it's gonna be insane because like I did not expect this, it was very last minute. So yeah, uh, let's go to Paris. And I actually have like a bed seat like while I am flying to Paris. So I'll like show you guys that as well. I also brought some face masks along too. I'll show you what those are once I get to my seat. Salut, mes amis. <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad you're clothed. Oh I just took a shower. Oh, oh, you're still dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, they, what? They're carrying your bags up, right? Yeah, unless they're scamming me. Okay. Oh I my god. Told, I told yeah, them that they, if they have another single room, they can get us one, but if not, it's fine. Okay. Dude, right? What what did I even get? Dude, what did you get? Dude, fish and chips, some macarons, soda, and a smoothie. Wow. $110. Wow, that's insane. Wow. No, yeah, wow, that's <coughs> crazy. Guys, I don't know what the heck I just did, but I made the TV pop out of its out of its place with the remote. Anyway. Hey, so I'm in my hotel room now, and like it says, good evening, Matthew Allen Jackson. Me and Amanda have our own separate rooms, which is legit. <laughs> there's like this little table area if I want to like sit and do something, like my makeup. And then there's the bed, and there's Amanda on the bed, so chill. <laughs> and then there's like the little couch seating area. So there's a lot of like little benches and couches and stuff to relax on. And then the bathroom is like this glass shower room. So literally there's like no tub or anything, it's just literally a shower and the floor. And then there's a robe and stuff, some slippers, and you got a little mirror right here. I'm looking busted and dusted because I just got off a 10 hour flight. And then there's this thing, like handheld shower thing. And literally all the amenities in here are from Diptyque. Like all the amenities. That's expensive. So, um, no, yeah, this is a super cool room. And then there's a separate marble area for the toilet. And then also we're in here as well with a little sink. But I am super freaking excited 
This is amazing. This is gonna be a super cool trip. Oh well, so, hey guys. Um, yeah. So I look 50 years older again. Yeah, because I have my glasses on. And I haven't shaved this time too. And I have no makeup on. But anyway, so I actually just ordered um, another thing of room service before I go to bed. It's like 11 o'clock right now, and I have to wake up at 9 a.m., which isn't bad, but like, I'm just gonna get a good night's sleep. Um, I ordered cake and tea. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I did this. Like, I, I've had too much sugar today anyway. Why did I order this? What is this? Is this kind of puff pastry in the shape of like a house? What exactly is this? Does anyone know? What? What did I get? Anyway, so I got some white tea too because I love white tea. And maybe it'll help me sleep, I'm uh, not sure. But I like white tea and it looked good, so I got it. But yeah, so far Paris has been freaking amazing and I've only been here for like, what, nine hours? And it's so good. Um, anyway, like I said, I'm here with um, Amanda and Singh as her assistant for the March Eagles Beauty event. And yeah. Um, the room is so nice. Oh, by the way, me and Amanda switched rooms. Just because my room had better lighting. And this room has better amenities. So, I was like, I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm going to be in... We're going to be in each other's rooms every day, like, anyway. Like, the only time we're not going to be in the same room is when we, like, are sleeping. And she's coughing really bad, too. And I have a nasal congestion. So we'd create, like, a super bug anyway if we were together. So, like, it's good that we have separate rooms. Oh, and by the way, I have these, like, really old Marc Jacobs shoes that I wear all the time. <laughs> these right here. So, literally, about a couple hours ago, these were busted and dusted and crusted. The bottoms are still dusted. But they freshened these up so well. Yeah, because those were, like, so bad before. But, yeah. Little Marc Jacobs sign there. Some flowers. It's a nice little room. Here's my little Pokemon bag, of course. Some cologne, some rings. Yeah, I'm pretty okay with this room. I'm really happy to be here right now. I'm actually really glad. But yeah, bye guys. <laughs> Where would you like me to set the table? I'll give you prayer behind. Yes, okay. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what is this? Um, well, alright, so this is day two of my trip to Paris. And oh my god, I almost knocked down this table that they set up. Oh, sis. So I ordered the Tokyo meal for breakfast and I, I'm actually in Japan right now. I'm not in Paris. So this is really interesting. Um, yeah, it's like fish, then they have a lime. Then chicken with vegetables, miso soup, then of course all the sides, the seaweed, the eggs. Um, dude, this is, this is legit. And we'll see how it tastes. Also have a cappuccino and some apricot juice. I was supposed to have green tea, but I don't know where that is. I might be hiding. Um, also, I don't know how much you can see of me, so I'm gonna do this really quick. Um, if for some reason you can't see my face in it, my camera doesn't have like a back thing to where I can't see what I'm filming because it's gotta be fancy like that and not have a flip out camera. You're supposed to have a special attachment for it, but I ain't, I ain't about to do that. <laughs> I know I've only been here one day, but we've literally had so many meals. A lot of them were just like kind of questionable things that I've never eaten before, but this is all very familiar. So it's, it's not a wonder that this tastes good to me. The chicken is amazing too. It tastes like chicken teriyaki. It's so good. And it has like the potatoes and the carrots in there too, which I'm like so down with. Cause growing up, this is like what I eat. This is like what I ate. Fish, chicken, oh my God, this literally tastes like when my mom used to cook for me as a kid, and I can't. By the way, we're staying at the Mandarin Oriental, which of course is like, it's an Asian-influenced hotel in Paris. I wonder if they got it from Chinese, those inspiration. Yeah, because it's called Mandarin Oriental. Right, right. <laughs> so that's why I'm eating Asian food in France and not having crepes and baguettes and croissants right now for breakfast. That's why I'm eating this, because they offered this as an option. They also have dim sum. But I thought this just looked the most familiar to me and like, oh man, it's delicious. I'm really grateful for it right now because this is so good. So 
I'm not 100% this is her, so I'm texting her. <laughs> Oh my god, I wasn't sure if that was you. Oh my god, really? Did you get them to send up a mirror for you? She offered. Bull, I need one. Yeah, see, I called the console at 6 a.m. and I was like, hey, do you guys have a, a USB cable to like charge my phone? And she was like, oh no, there's only one at like concierge. We can charge your phone for you though. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. She asked if I needed um, HDMI, but the way she pronounced it, was she like, HDMI? 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 Yeah, no, they say USB, like, USB. But she was probably like, this guy's crazy, what is he saying? <laughs> oh, thank you, you sprayed the Tom Ford on me. Um, yeah, no, because I wanted to, like, film in front of the window, too. But there's no, there's no mirror. Yeah. I'm just going to ask him to send a vanity mirror up. Look how fast you're getting ready. I'm trying. Oh, my God. By the way, it's, this is such a pretty view. Oh my god. It's super quiet by the way, I haven't seen anyone. Yeah, like what's the deal with that? Like and oh by the way, my um concierge guy who brought my meal up today was so nice. He was like so talkative. My the girl that came here was the same that came in my room and she was like, Really? Oh. I don't miss and Jackson. she laughed and I was like, oh no, I was like, we switch rooms. <laughs> right? Oh my god, Miss like, oh, Jackson. Also, this is what Amanda got. She got like the traditional French breakfast and not some random Japanese <laughs> meal. <laughs> oh my gosh. But mine was so good. It's totally yeah. you got. Right? It was like it's totally me. Yeah. But it was it was really good. Amanda's just now ready. We are uh we're rushing. <laughs> we're rushing. We're always rushing. Right? So look at her. Look at me, mess. Nice. Hey. Hey. Can you shut that door? Yeah, for sure. Hey, I got uh walk out. Okay. So I'm gonna go to my room and you go to the lobby. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the lobby first since, yeah. <clears throat> I came back to my room after dropping a man off at the elevator and I ordered some, uh, I ordered a latte and some sliced mangoes. Yeah, they speak to you in French, so then you have to get them to speak English and they have to talk some French back and it's just, it's, it's just cute. It's fun. This is for 16 year old me. <laughs> but, um, no, yeah. Oh, actually, I need to order um, a mirror as well. So then I can film like a little get ready with me. Yeah, I'll go ahead and order the mirror. <clears throat> okay, so they brought like my mango and latte plate, and this is it right here. So while she was setting that plate down, I was like moving some stuff around so like I would have room for everything, and I almost dropped my camera, and the concierge caught it. Like she caught the camera while it was falling. So I was like, oh my god. So I tipped her because I was like, oh my god, clutch. That was impressive. And that the sliced mango plate's not on the menu. They have to like they had to special make it. And look at how well they sliced this. Like, girl, quit. Oh my god, it's so pretty. There's my latte. I just wanted a mango plate. I just wanted some sliced mango on a plate. You didn't have to make it fancy. It's so cute. Sis, you went all out, and oh my god, it's delicious. But girl, yeah, this is the place to order fruit for dessert instead of actual dessert, because this is so good. Hello. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, let's get ready. Uh, so today we are going to Marc Jacobs for a styling, but since it is fashion week, of course, I have to look nice, look presentable. Oh yeah, for your sake, for having to like watch me, I'm gonna fill in my brows right now. <laughs> this is the Tony Moly inked brow. I have the lightest shade and the darkest shade. I honestly prefer the darkest shade because the darkest shade is really taupey, so it looks like really natural. So it looks good with even like lighter hair. And also I just had a little moment where I bathed a little bit too long and my hair got a lot more brassy than it was a moment ago. <laughs> So I think I kind of fixed it with some blue shampoo to where it's like a normal looking color. Hopefully it looks good because we're at fashion week and I had one day's notice for this. So it gave me some crowd. <laughs> the lightest shade does look orange. So I don't like that one too much. And it comes packaged so nice. And this I think was really only $10. So that's not bad at all. And I'll show you how fast it fills in my brows. It's so quick. It's ridiculous. Like literally watch how fast this is. Like instant color and once you blend it out it looks so natural and now my brows back like girl this came in handy this week and then i'll have to like clean it up a little bit of course but other than that there's my brow took me really like three seconds and we're good now i'll do my other brow okay but yeah this is one of the better brow gels that i've used i brought the benefit one with me and oh girl 
This one works so much better. All right, so first thing we need to do is prime the skin. And I brought my favorite primer with me. It's the Be Beautiful Luminous CC Cream by Thank You Farmer. It just makes your skin glow. And it blurs out all of your pores. Like, this primer is so good. So it makes you look flawless. I'm doing the Amanda Unseen thing because I'm so far away. Because it has that luminosity to it, it blurs out like literally everything. So this is so good for like faking perfect skin. And I need to do everything I can to pretend I have perfect skin today since fashion week. What am I doing right now? Why, why am I at fashion week in Paris? What is going on? Why am I wearing a robe? What is this? Don't worry, I'm changing really soon. <laughs> the robe is just for, uh, it's just for this. And also it's really comfy to wear on the hotel, honestly. Like I've never really worn a robe before on a hotel, but girl, it is, when you have to travel from room to room, it's so easy just to throw this on and just walk around with it. Cause the people are like, oh yeah, he's not done getting ready yet. He, he looks a mess because he's not ready yet. He's doing something. Yeah, cause I've been having to run back and forth from my room to Amanda's room. Cool. Next we have to do foundation. Oh my God, I thought I didn't bring it with me. I was gonna freak out. It's literally the only foundation I brought with me. I bought tons of blushes and highlighters. Uh, two setting sprays and one foundation. I brought the Makeup Forever foundation with me too, the stick foundation, but here's the thing. That's how much le is left. Like one nub, I have one use of this. So I could use it today and it would be a good day to use it, but I wanna try this one out. Okay, so just a few pumps of this cause it is very full coverage and I don't need full, full coverage. I usually only do one pump, but uh, I went for two today. And I have the shade, I think 120 Natural Ivory. Yeah, 120 Classic Ivory. And let's go ahead and blend that in. Oh, she's becoming beautiful. And that's the thing, I like my skin like dewy and luminous and this foundation's matte. So we're gonna have to like find a way to make this like glow. And I have some ideas in mind, so don't worry. We'll make, we'll make this foundation not matte. Oh, it's so good to see me with foundation on again. <laughs> For the past few days, I haven't been wearing any just because I was traveling so much. And then I didn't wear any foundation yesterday when we were here because we were literally just chilling at the hotel, so there was no point. I feel like it takes such a process in order to like get ready. How long do I have? So I have about 30 minutes to get ready. And I know that's like ample, ample time for me, but it's always just scary when you're in that like initial first phase of your makeup where you just have your primer and foundation on. You're like, oh my God, am I gonna be done in time? And then you get done in five minutes and you're like, oh, sis, there ain't no need to rush. Okay, this foundation looks pretty great. I look full coverage out except around my eyes. So the reason I don't put foundation under my eyes is just because sometimes, especially matte foundations, are too dry around the eye area. So you wanna use something that's like actually made for the eye area. I brought a few concealers with me. I think I'm gonna use the Urban Decay concealer, the Naked Skin concealer. As you can see, like I don't apply like that huge triangle that a lot of people do. It's good if you want that like strong, like contour. It depends on your face shape. Like for my face shape, I don't like doing that highlight thing with it. I just like using concealer to cover my dark circles. I like to look more natural and less like glam glammed out. So I think this shade's actually really nice on me. It matches like real good. I've been getting like lighter and lighter. Like I used to self tan. I used to actually tan as well. I used to be so into that, but now I've just let my skin get to like its natural color now. And, and eh, I'm into it. So I actually called Amanda like right as I was buying it. I was like, which one do I get? The Maybelline Fit Me or the Superstay? And she said, get the Superstay. And I'm glad I listened to her because honestly, it's nice. It's very nice foundation. And now of course I'm gonna go on with my favorite powder ever, the Maybelline Fit Me powder, matte and poreless. This stuff, I can't replace it. I try everything. I try high end. I try everything else. Nothing works as well as this. I swear. It is such a good powder to set your makeup and you won't get any flashback from it. And also I did bring my cream foundations that I really do love, but the reason I'm not wearing them is because they all have 50 SPF in there and I love SPF, but the 50 SPF that are in my cushion compacts is actually a physical sunscreen. So it gives a lot of flashback. And since there's gonna be photos and stuff, I can't wear those just cause I don't wanna have the flashback in those photos. All right, I'm gonna take the powder on my powder brush here. Generously apply this cause honestly the more powder on me, the more okay I look, cause I'm super oily. <laughs> when I do powder on the neck, I usually just go like up and down to like evenly spread it. And now for some reason, I can never get powder on the inner corners of my eyes. So I always have to use this specific brush. This is one of my most used brushes. Surprisingly, it's a large concealer brush from Sigma. I thought I'd never use this, but it's so good to pick up a uh, powder with it and place it directly where you want it to get rid of any shine. So it's perfect around the eyes cause it gets right in that corner so perfectly. And then you can put it on the top lid as well, but Shouldn't have done that because I'm actually wearing eyeshadow today. 
but hey, maybe it'll work as a base. And now we are matte. We need to go with some blush. We need to get some color in. I wasn't planning on doing contour today, but I feel like we should do some contour. This is my favorite contouring powder of all time. It's the Innisfree Shade 8, Shade 8 Blush. And it works so well for a contour. It looks so natural. And I use it with a tapered Sigma brush. And it's so easy just to like glide on just like that and creates a natural, natural contour. Like that is all the contour I need. I don't like going heavy with it. I like it to look natural. <laughs> so literally like brush, 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 brush. And if you need to blend it more, like you, you need to blend it, then I'll put some on my nose. And it's not like harsh and it's not super dark. So if you do have like a lighter complexion, this is such a great shade for contouring, shade eight in the Innisfree powder. And it looks so natural, it doesn't look like powder. So now blush, I brought some peaches, I brought some lavender. Pretty sure I brought my other Marc Jacobs blush. Yeah, I brought it. So this is uh, called Kink and Kisses from Marc Jacobs. It's kind of a mix between a coral and a pink. Basically you're supposed to put the darker one on first and then use the lighter one to blend it. But if you use them together, it works just as well. Like it's fine. All right, and now for eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using the Pony Mimi Box eyeshadows. This is my favorite uh, quad palette ever. It's three peachy shades and a brown. This is all that I need because when I do eyeshadow, I don't really do like a whole lot. And especially since we're in Paris, we're gonna keep it natural and keep it like a, uh, just yeah, very natural. So I'm gonna use this very, very small, like fine point pony hairbrush. We're gonna go in with the foil shade, which is this one right here. It's very similar to like a Stila foil almost, but I'm gonna use it to highlight my inner corner. So just right on the inner corner right there, just adding a tiny bit of glitter just to really brighten my eye up and I just like that pop right there. Cause one of my friends actually told me that he puts glitter like all over his lids and it looks so good on him. So I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cop that. This shade right here, even though it looks very peachy, it's actually just pure glitter basically. So I'm going to take this tapered brush and just grab at it since I'm just using it as a glitter. And we're just gonna lightly dust it all over the lid. Don't have to be too precise, we just want glitter. And then once like the light catches it, it's just, it's very, very subtle. The next step is gonna be highlighter because like I said, I want my skin glowing and dewy. So I brought my two favorite highlighters and my favorite combination ever, the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer and then Champagne Pop from Becca, of course, most staple item ever. The RMS Beauty Living Luminizer, you can put this on top of powder, you can put it under powder, you can wear this alone. It is just, the best kind of balmy texture that doesn't add like any heaviness or weight to your skin. Look at it, see, it just adds shine without doing, without ruining anything. And I could honestly like keep the look at this and just wear like, just that highlight, like, cause, oh my God, can you see that in the camera? I'm not really sure if you can or not cause I can't see myself, but, oh my God. That sheen is gorgeous. All right, so I just dabbed a little bit of that on with the Fenty Beauty Brush and now, okay, time to make the glow extreme cause that's what we're doing today, right? I guess. This isn't really a cream, it's more of a balmy oil, which is why this makes your highlight look a lot more intense than just using a cream under your highlight because the powder will attach to like that oil right there and just make it like balm. We're gonna tap a little bit of champagne pop there and then, and whenever I wear this highlight combo, I literally always get asked what highlighter I'm wearing and it's Living Luminizer and then champagne pop on top. So yeah, I think basically now I don't really wear any mascara or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go change my clothes really quick because I have about 10 minutes before I need to be at the Marc Jacobs store. So I am going to change my clothes, fix my brows, but I'll be right back and I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay, so let's, let's do this quickly. No, yeah, so this is uh, what I'm gonna be wearing um, out and uh, basically at Fashion Week. Yeah, it's, it's a little ridiculous, but everyone looks insane. But no, yeah, like everyone, all these fashion shows look ridiculous. They're all insane. So I feel like this works, you yeah. know? This works, right? Like this is fine. Some streetwear, it's okay. <laughs> and I feel like I can I can make it work. It looks fine. Man, I, I can work this, we're good. Sup, bro? <laughs> But yeah, so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here, but tomorrow I'll put up the footage of Fashion Week and I'll have like the whole Fashion Week thing be in tomorrow's video. So I thank you all for watching and you know where to find me. If you like this video and you wanna see more of it, subscribe and hit the like down below and also leave a comment about what you think about um, everything as well and these glasses, cause I don't, these are fashionable apparently, so. Who told me that sis? I don't know sis, I don't know. I just think they apparently are. <laughs> So we're on the way to the Louvre to take a picture. Hey guys, so me and Amanda are like finally on our way to like one of the main spots. All right, so I am in Eiffel Tower. Well, I mean, I'm under it. I'm under the Eiffel Tower. Um, 